What was your favourite fish and chip shop in Mitcham? I'm going to go through some I can remember in Mitcham, but I've probably left some out, so leave a comment please, and let me know. I'll try and answer all your comments. And consider subscribing if you haven't already, and press the like button if you like it, and press the other like the dislike button if you don't. Anyway, let's jump in. So the first thing I'm going to use is Google Street View. I'm at the Swan Junction. And I think the first fish and chip shop to go to was Wymer's, which today is still a fish and chip shop called Oysters. Yeah, Wymer's, I do remember. And also a cousin of mine, who I, I phone every weekend, she now lives in Hastings, see how she's getting on. She was born in around 1950, I think. She remembers Wymers as well, and she had a couple of uh, a couple of anecdotes to tell. She said that it was always kind of amusing when they were particularly busy in there, and Mr. Wymer was getting a bit flustered, and the sort of banter between him and his wife and or staff um, was always quite amusing. Uh, also, unrelated to fish and chips, but um, it was quite an interesting anecdote anyway, was that she said that when she was a little girl, she had a doll and a pram, a dolly pram she called it, the daughter of Mr. Weimer also was of the same age as her and also had a dolly pram, but it was in fact a twin pram. It had two hoods. It was for uh, twin babies. And it turned out that uh, when she uh, grew up and got married, um, she had twins. Anyway, so that's Weimer's. I, I can see from telephone directory entries that it was there in 1954 and 1971. But I don't know any more about that. But Merton Memories does have a view. It says around 1953, taken by Fox Studios. So let's have a look at that. And this view is, there's the road towards Tooting. This is the road towards Streatham. And if we zoom in on this. That was the fish and chip shop Wymers with the awning down can't actually see the name never mind but that's the only photograph I have of it let's go to Hutton's this is an Eric Montague photograph which the Merton Historical Society are quite happy for me to use in my videos and my posts which is I'm grateful to and the thing to bear in mind about Hutton's was it was also a wet fish shop as well as being a restaurant so you could actually buy your own fish there and cook it at home or you could go there for your fish and chips the shape of the building is worth mentioning that this was due to bomb damage in the second world war and it was rebuilt at this height whereas before it was actually the same height as the rest of the shop and, and here is another view of Hutton's with the King's Arms pub on the corner to put it into perspective as to where it was. So that's Upper Green West, London Road, and the King's Arms. And there was a seafood stall there. Merton Memories also has a photograph of Hutton's Fish and Chip Shop from 1962. It's quite good quality. And here's a star photograph that was posted onto Facebook. And if we zoom in on the prices, give an idea when this was taken. And this photograph is pre World War II. And we can see the original building was the same height as the buildings next to it. Richard's leading fishmonger. I really hate this new logo which blocks out quite a large part of the picture. But never mind. Hutton's was replaced by a shop called Bunters. Traditional fish and chips. Chicken and spare rib. Pie, mash and liquor. And here's a Mercer Memories photo of Upper Green West. Doesn't give a date. But we can see that 
TSB was there. And there is the building we just looked at for Hutton's. I'm pretty sure that says Bunters on it. You might also notice in the background that there used to be a McDonald's in Michigan. Staying on Upper Green West, there's a fish and chip shop now called Skippers. And I took this photograph in 2018 from the Conservative Club across the road, hence the angle. And here's an ad from 1996 from the Merton Messenger. OAP special prices on fish and chips from £1.85. Take away and £2.30 for a sit down meal throughout the week period. Fresh fish delivered daily from the famous Billingsgate Market. Spend over £5 and receive a free bottle of lemonade or a free bottle of condiment vinegar. Let's go across the railway line at Eastfields Crossing down to Tamworth Lane, Acacia Road. Peter's Fish and Kebab. I think that's been there a while. Anyway, it's still, it's still in existence. The oldest photograph on Google Maps here is 2008. Let's go up to Gorringe Park Avenue. The Golden Anchor Fish and Chip Restaurant. That's got quite a good reputation. Not sure how long it's been there. And the Fish and Chip Shop at Upper Green East, which is near the pond. This photograph from 1987, Enterprise Fish and Chips. No recollection of ever using that. Don't know how long it was there. And finally, the fish and chip shop on Phipps Bridge Road called the Cheeky Chippy. As seen here in this clip from the television show, The Bill. The Bill was being produced in Windsor Avenue, which was not far from this location. I do believe that they used a number of shops and businesses and homes in the Phippsbridge area to do their many, many TV shows. Anyway, thank you for watching. If you got this far, don't forget what I said. Leave comments. Tell me all the ones I've missed. Bye for now.